Keith Lee is the young father stuck upstairs next door. We got a hold of the city to let them know what was happening here. Within minutes, they got this crew out here making quick work of this problem. A city tree removal crew saw it, cut it, working fast to get a young father named Keith Lee out of his home. Here's Keith before the crew arrived, telling us how he got his son out of the home just to get to school this morning. I had to go through the basement and go out the window and get him out through school and take him to school. That's how I got him in because I'm not going through that top part. I'm not doing, I'm not trusting none of these tree branches to fall off or anything. It happened on Garland north of Mac Avenue. The ash tree was already weakened by the emerald ash borer. It fell from the city right of way onto the house. On scene, the city's superintendent of forestry. Last night, we had winds over 30 miles an hour, 30, 40 miles an hour. And in winds like that, even a healthy tree uh, could sustain damage. The city now working on taking down 10,000 dead trees across the city for this very reason. So far, 7,000 are down. We have about 12 storm calls we've gotten so far today, which I think is, is a really good number for us considering the size of the city and the number of trees that we have. We have over 185,000 trees along city streets. Meanwhile, Keith is free from his home. You got out, Keith. I got out. So they, they jumped on the problem pretty quickly. They jumped on it once you got here. If a tree from the city right of way hits your home just like this, make a report with the city legal department. Now, since we've been out here, other neighbors coming out telling us about the dead trees up and down this street. The city says let them know about those trees. They want you to use the improved Detroit app to let them know. From Detroit's east side, Sean Lay, Local 4.